I'm Petter Mannefelt and I'm the creative director for Exoborn. My job is basically to make sure that we're making a fun, cool and exciting game that everyone wants to play. So I remember early 80s, maybe I was four years old, and my dad brought home the first computer I've ever seen. It was a Sinclair ZX81, I think. Um, we started to make a game, and of course I didn't make anything, he made everything. But that's when I realized that games is what I really want to do, and really make an experience for someone else. I started out in the gaming industry as a programmer. So I worked as a programmer for 10 years, and the first game I worked on is, of course, always a special love. Uh, it was an RTS game called World in Conflict. I did unit movements, uh, I worked on some AI behaviors, I, I worked on helicopters and a lot of gameplay. Uh, I had a blast, it was magical to me, it was really fun. Then I moved on to the creative side and I shipped The Division 1 uh, as the game director. It was an intense and challenging project, but I think we all learned a lot and it set me up to, to be able to make a game like this with Shark Mob. For many players, games are more than just fun. It's basically the social platform for their life. It's a way to spend time with your friends after school or after work, and for me it's been a lifestyle. I've played games since I was four and I've met most of my friends online in various forms. And for me it's really important that the games we do at Shark Mob are also social games. For the last 10 years I've been celebrating Christmas with a friend I met in an online game. She's the godmother of my daughter and her husband is the godfather of my, my son and we celebrate all big holidays together basically. And uh, it's, it's something you do in these this online games that you meet friends and form friendships. And I really want the players we have in Exoborn to form friendships in that game that lasts for 10, 15, 20 years from now. Exoborn is a quite uh, high stakes game. That means that sometimes nothing is happening and you're alone in the woods scavenging, but boom, Next second, there's a lot of enemies around you and the adrenaline in your body starts pumping and I really want the players to experience that. We're not just creating a game, we're creating an experience with Exoborn. One thing we really wanted to explore with Exoborn is to see the world as a big playground. And for that reason, we turned the world upside down. We destroyed the entire world this time. And by destroying the entire world, we have created some unique gameplay with a lot of verticality. And the toys we have in, in this playground is our exorig. We have different exorigs and they have different abilities and depending on what toys you want to play with, you choose what exorig to play. And you get to level up your exorig, you get to attach new attachments to that. So you get to play with, with the forces of nature like tornadoes, uh, like storms and so on. And, and play it your way. We've worked on the game for a few years now and from the beginning, we hoped that we would make something really cool, but you never know. It's always prototypes, right? But I think we've proven that it's really cool, and the gameplay really starts to shape up, and it's really exciting, and I can't wait for all of you to be able to join us and play it in the first playtest. <laughs>